Hey everybody, it's me, Zach, this is Potato, and welcome back to our channel. Hey everybody, it's me, Zach, and we're back, back, back again to see what is going on with Protein Lynn over on the Amber Lynn Reed channel. She's got a new video that she posted yesterday. Uh, I'm just getting to it. Well, I usually get to it to the day after. Let's be very serious. But I'm just getting to it now because, besties, why was I on the local news? Oh, here we go. <gasps> That was that man playing basketball. We're next! <laughs> they got us. I had made a, a plan to take yesterday afternoon. Actually, I double booked myself. I forgot that I, I planned with my friends to go play pickleball in the afternoon, and I also still scheduled myself to stream on Twitch, so I did cancel that yesterday. But my little pickleball date that I had with my friends, <laughs> they recorded it for the nightly news over on uh, a local Chicago news channel, and <laughs> I was on the old news. The old Zachary Michael, famous, looking great in my, my finest athletic attire, <laughs> playing pickleball at a random park in Chicago. Stunning. 10 out of 10. Highly recommend letting people film you. <laughs> They did. You know what, though? Here's the tea. You know, people are always out here filming old Amber Lynn and other people on the internet like that without their permission and putting it on the internet. The guy who filmed us did ask our permission. <laughs> he really did. He said, is it okay? Is it all right if I film you for this? And I almost said, ugh. I'm so famous. I didn't. I didn't say that. I was just like, ah, I can't let people know where I play pickleball. Well, I've only played pickleball there now twice. I've played in other places too. So uh, anyways, I was on the news. What was the point of me telling you that story? I don't know. Also, Poe is still in his cone of shame. I'm thinking, I think they told me I could check in after like a week to see how he does without it. So it's possible once we get to Monday, whatever video I post on Monday, it's possible he might not have it anymore. Um, we might try just like supervised time with him not having it on. We'll see, but in case you wanted an update, he feels mostly fine. He's still unfortunately having some of the GI issues, but also some of that has been amplified because he is on a antibiotic just to make sure that his paw doesn't get infected. And unfortunately, the antibiotic has a side effect of, of like vomiting and throwing up and things like that. So he's just <laughs> going through it, keeping me on my motherfucking toes, <laughs> keeping me on my toes at all times. I love him so much. He's lucky I love him so much because I'm one tired dog dad. For real, for real. <laughs> for real, for real. Anyways, it's time to check in on Miss Amberlynn Reed because she is celebrating one entire month of being on Ozempic. So today's video is called One Month Ozempic Weigh-In. I'm in a lot of pain and surprising my mom. <laughs> bar vlog. I'm honestly most curious about what the surprise for her mom is. The The thumbnail of this video was really confusing to me for a while because it looked like there was a filter on it until I realized that Amber Lynn was holding like some big old like bubble blowing gun type of thing situation type of deal. And I'm like, is that the surprise? You surprised your mom with bubbles? And I'm also just like, I guess... How much can you really surprise her when she drives you everywhere to buy things? And then I was like, well, she probably got something on Amazon. Because she's always getting stuff on Amazon. She just hasn't shown us an Amazon haul in a while. So, yeah, I'm curious about what the surprise might be. But, anyways, let me shut the fuck up. <laughs> Can't wait to hear about the Ozempic weigh-in. Let's get to, let's get to, shall we? Oh, stunning. We got the Shrek outhouse shirt. Let's fucking go. Let's fucking go. Hello, hello. Hi. To so today is, pretty sure it's June 15th. Alexa, what's the date today? Good afternoon, Emily. It's June 15th. 
Stunning. It's stunning life to live in when you just have no concept of what day it is. I mean, honestly, well, I was going to say, honestly, like, I frequently don't know what the date is, so I feel like that's relatable. But I, I can usually figure it out if I really think hard about it. But I guess that's honestly relatable. I mean, how many times have you gone to write the date somewhere or type the date somewhere and not know what the date was? Go. We went to a barbecue where they had like this bubble machine going, uh -huh. and she was low key so obsessed with it. And honest, actually, it was high key obsessed with it. My girl is my girl. Oh so no, no, wait. Was that in the original barbecue vlog? Did we get that in, that clip in the original barbecue vlog? We probably did. I don't know that. <laughs> The content from the, the, the barbecue was so little, it lasted all of like maybe 20 to 30 seconds. It's hard to remember, even though you titled your video <laughs> barbecue slash pool party. I got her one of these Let's like, go. things. It's just like the little things in life that can make someone happy. Um, it's the little things, like constantly purchasing a bunch of shit <laughs> for you and your mom at all times of the days. It's the little things. It's the little things. I want to surprise her with it today. I guess, <laughs> oh, um... Oh my god. To explain my fascination with the phrase, it's the little things, there is a, uh, a mom YouTuber that I watched for a while. I haven't watched most of her videos in a really long time, but her... Her name used to be Lemonade Mom. I went and looked her up one day, and she randomly changed her YouTube channel to Life by Vanessa, which is... I don't know. It maybe sounds a little bit more mature, but less fun, in my opinion. Anyways, she's obsessed with this this concept of enjoy the little things, but she just constantly buys, 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 buys. And I'm just like, are you enjoying the little things? If, if like, the little things are you just buying a bunch of shit you don't need? And it gives big Amber Lynn Reed energy, so I'm just obsessed that she decided to be like, mm, yes, sometimes it's just the little things that, that make your life so great. First, I want to see, like, if it works good. Oh, no, the minute I open it, there's a tool on top. Oh, God. Oh, I'm not a handy-dandy builder Bobby. You guys remember Bob the... Amber Lynn the Builder. She was just getting ready to say Bob the Builder, but that was my first thing that went <laughs> to my head. Amber Lynn the Builder has been somebody who has struggled with the most basic of building tasks in her home. I don't know if y'all remember her trying to put together a lamp, <laughs> but, but she struggled. I'm sure the tool, though, was just to, like, unscrew the battery compartment or something like that. Like, I don't imagine you had to put this little bubble machine together. Builder, yeah. I'm definitely no Bobby over here. There's like instructions, you have to charge it. Oh my uh, god. This is what- What did she think was gonna happen? <laughs> you have to charge it? You, well, it's not just gonna run on its own. It's gonna need some kind of energy source, batteries, something. What it looks like, oh, ugh. Wait a minute. I don't really like looking at that part, so... Oh, yeah, she's got the old trypophobia or something. It's been a while since she brought that up. It's, it's been a fucking while. I'm still back at her being upset that she has to charge it. <laughs> like, that is such a simple task. Why are you so upset about that? Kind of gives me, like, the creeps for some reason. I don't know. Tons of this. What is this? It's is this bubble bubbles? solution. There's also these. So it's a bunch of liquid and then more gadgets. I'm obsessed with her pulling stuff out and being like, I don't know what all this is. What is this? Read, read the damn instructions. You read the instructions long enough for it to tell you you had to charge it, but then you said, that's enough. I, I don't need to read anymore. And now you're pulling stuff out and being like, what does this do? What is this for? Is that a battery? What is this? I don't know if I did it. Let's go! That does look fun. <laughs> Probably dumb as hell to do it inside because all the things that she just blew those bubbles all over are going to be so sticky, including this fucking phone or camera that she's filming on, but that's fun. That is fun. That, that I will enjoy that little thing, you know? <laughs> 
<laughs> enjoy the little things is actually probably why I enjoy Air Berlin's like more mundane videos because it's like yeah yeah let's let's geek out let's goon over you and this bubble machine together <laughs> like I'm down to goon over a bubble machine you know did it folks I am Bobby the Builder <laughs> Okay, not this is like science not blowing bubbles and being like hey y'all I did science <laughs> look at me I'm building out the science guy I blew some bubbles this is like science stunning <laughs> this is also why she thinks that she's like a doctor it's why she thinks she's a chef she said I can cook some dry ass pasta with some dry ass sausage and some dry ass Brussels sprouts and and I'm basically a chef. So similarly I can blow some bubbles and I'm basically a scientist. Let's go. Mom is at the door, so I have to go let her in and then I'm gonna surprise her with her bubbles, okay? Let's go. Let her in. Bye. It's grandma! <laughs> Ooh, well, Twonk, you okay? Hey, guns! Tell me a baby. Stand in front of the camera. <laughs> what? <laughs> not, not her gooning all over her mom with this bubble blower. What's going on? I want to relive that. That was so fun. That was fun. I'm having fun, Amberlynn. Thank you so much. Stand in front of the camera. Let's go, let's go, let's go. <laughs> 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 oh, my God, it's adorable. Oh, honestly, truly, her mom looked pleased as punch. That is, she's really enjoying the little things over here. Her mom genuinely seemed so happy over that. This is why I think a lot of y'all, a lot of y'all are coming around on Mama Lynn because she's just like, I feel like she is actually just genuinely being herself most of the time. And that is in such like juxtaposition to Amber Lynn, who it constantly feels like is maybe not being herself all of the time. So let's go Mama Lynn. Love to see that. Love to see it. Oh wait, is it already out of juice? <laughs> How cute is that? Come no here, Twain. Crazy commotion. Let's go. <laughs> Isn't that adorable? <laughs> <laughs> yes. Maybe, maybe let's not subject Twonk to being in the middle of all of this, but Mama Lynn is loving it, and I'm obsessed. <laughs> I'm, I'm just so thrilled. That I feel like this is just pure joy for Mama Lynn. This is the coolest thing ever. I am, like, shook, though, that we're just, like, spraying all of this inside of her home. <laughs> like, I just imagine... Everything is gonna have like a film all over it. The the fridge behind her, the door behind her, the countertop that this camera is sitting on, the camera itself. Like I just imagine it's all gonna have like a soapy film just coating it. Yeah. Yes. It's for you to take home. It's an error. I appreciate it. I love it. That is so bomb. So that 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 was that was wholesome. That was wholesome. I I enjoyed that. Thank you, Amber Lynn. Thank you so much for including it. I'm also obsessed that you know, like the the part of your title that was about surprising your mom was actually like a significant chunk of the video. Like I appreciate that. Like let's let's do more content like that. I mean. To some extent, I'm like, do you need to just keep buying a bunch of shit you don't need? Probably not. But, like, your mom genuinely seems so happy. That was so cute. That was so cute. Also, just keep this in mind. A lot of a lot of the haters say, you don't have anything nice to say ever, which I think a lot of us know is not true. But, like, I genuinely enjoyed that. <laughs> that was so much 
much fun. Her mom seems so happy. And my mom wanted to eat first, so we're eating. Their straws are made of paper. It's kind of cool. <laughs> it's kind of cool. Only Amber Lynn, who is like not gone out into the world and experience the horrors of using a fucking paper straw would discover one in the wild for the first time and be like, oh, this paper straw is kind of cool. I don't know. Maybe maybe it's not as common in other places, but in Chicago, there's so many places that have fucking paper straws and it just ruins the drinking experience for me. Like, I'd rather just not use a straw. I'd rather just drink straight from the glass because the, the paper straw gets so... So soggy. There's a lot of places in Chicago, though, that have recently come up with, like, some more, uh, like, sustainable, like, firm straws that I really do enjoy. Um, but anyways, that's really... <laughs> I really got off on a tangent there. What was what was I gonna say? Hmm. <laughs> Them straws really distracted me, damn. Oh, I know what I was gonna say. I love that this is a video about her being on Ozempic for one month, and of course we're we're eating out. <laughs> we're out and about in in Oklahoma eating at a restaurant. Stunning, stunning. Oh, and look at all this protein on her plate right now. Miss Amberlynn Reed, who's so focused on protein, she's got some kind of pot sticker, appetizer, and a salad that seemingly, I guess, probably has protein in the cheese. Mm, that's protein Len. Post started barking because Noel came home and then my camera went a little tiny bit out of focus, so I'm so sorry. Uh, <laughs> it sucks. Uh, hopefully it's not too distracting. Enjoy the rest of the video. Bye. So my mom got pot stickers and oh. salad with her dressing. <laughs> I Maybe I should chill for <laughs> I didn't mean to start coughing, but maybe I should have chilled for a second. This is definitely one of those times where people are probably saying in the in the comments, Zach, if you would have just waited, if you would have just waited, you know what? You're so right. Look at this protein, Miss Protein Lynn. Actually, this is like one of the best meals I've seen her eat at a restaurant. Her side is as a vegetable. She's got just protein and a little dip. Like, that's crazy. What, what has come over her? Is she finally listening to the lymphedema specialist? Crazy. Crazy. I got a cheeseburger, but I told them no bun. Okay. And then instead of french fries, I got the green beans. Uh-huh. And then I guess this is just like a sauce that goes on the side. I love a green bean. I love a green bean. Watching her eat was just so riveting. Thank you. I did kind of think, like, mm, <laughs> the way she's cutting up that burger is interesting, but listen, I can't be mad. That's, like, the best restaurant meal we've ever seen her eat in terms of, like, her actually doing what she said she was doing, you know? She said she was focusing on protein right now, and that that's that, you know? Let's go. Let's go. Also, is she at the arcade or the casino? Let's go! This is literally my favorite one. So show you like that. Is it going? Let's go. Let's go. Let's let's see her. Let's see her succeed. Let's fucking go. Gamer Lynn. Oh my gosh. Oh, she's so good. Would you look at that? Would you just look at it? Don't mess up. Don't mess up. Don't mess up. Don't mess up. Oh. She did it again. Oh, and we're going to play this game again. She did this recently, yeah? Let's go, let's go, let's go. Big money, big money, no whammies, no whammies. Let's see what I land on. 200. 200. Let's go. Big money. How many tickets I have? 548. Look how adorable.
adorable. <gasps> Give me all that and dim sum. But it's a thousand tickets. What a and cute then, little cute bow bun. Is. He's so sweet. Now that's what I really want. All right, there. Really? Okay, so I gave my mom my tickets. Not, <laughs> not you putting your mom's dogs on display. <laughs> did mama, did mama let agree to this toe content? I didn't want anything. And she got this yoga rolling thing. We should roll it and you should do the pose it lands on for the vlog. Right now? Really? <laughs> <laughs> I don't even know if I can bend like that. Oh my gosh. And if you don't know if you can bend like that, why did we get that? Why did we get that prize? What was the purpose of that prize? She got this phone holder. Show them. Oh, that's cute. It is adorable. Look at it. Oh, wait. Look how cute that you is. can't even okay, see it. I'm gonna it, do though. whatever this rolls on, okay? Yeah, but you better wait till we get home. <laughs> <laughs> oh, it's the cow face. <laughs> not the. Not, did that say cow face? Not the cow face. <laughs> the cow face. I don't know. Her so arms behind her, like. No, like the leg part. I can't do that. They're like folding it really yeah. weird. No, we yeah. had carts that went with this, but they were like a billion dollars. Oh, look what I get. I I imagine I imagine you can't do most of those things, and that's no shade, but like, uh, literally, yoga is all about like flexibility and stuff like that, and like, that's just not something you've done in a minute. Like, what? flexibility, you know? <laughs> she got the easy pose. She rolled it. Easy pose. Nice Are those even... Just some, like, mm, yeah. some sand stuff. Like. Is that even... Is that even, um... What it's called? I'm not a big yoga person. I've only done yoga, like, a couple times. I got some stories about that for another time. But isn't that called, like, child's pose or something? Or am I making that up? I'm gonna go look before I make myself sound stupid. Child's pose yoga. Oh no, child's pose is when you're like this. I guess that might be easy. Let me just put easy pose yoga. I guess that is easy pose. I guess that is what it's called. All right, work. You learn something new every day, even if your name's Zachary Michael. <laughs> Believe it or not, I'm not the smartest person on the internet. It does sound nice. Uh, right now, I'm in a lot of pain. I think my kidney stone is moving. Like, because my pelvis hurts and I have blood in my urine again. I need to put that on my mind like that. <laughs> yeah. Blood. <laughs> Do y'all remember that clip back, back in, like, the early 2010s when, like, the the things that went viral on YouTube just like would never go viral today and it was just that kid going blood <laughs> blood anyways uh okay all right okay have we do we have any follow up on uh, seeing a urologist or whatever is that is there something going on with that it hurts really bad it literally just started today yeah it's like a sharp pelvis pain so yeah, it's weird. Your uh, doctor's appointment is not until like November. Like, yeah, speaking of November, we were gonna go to the Billie Eilish concert, me and my mom, uh -huh. in Kansas City. <gasps> Already yeah. sold out though. Mm. That would have yeah. been an experience. Like literally, I would have probably died. It's been fun though. My I mean, I saw Billie Eilish at Lollapalooza last year, and she's very talented, but she's not for me. <laughs> like, like I like her like popular songs. Like I like the Bad Guy song. I love the she the performance at Lollapalooza was the first time she ever performed the um, the like song she made for the Barbie movie live, and that I think that song is beautiful. But otherwise, most of her other music, I was like, I just like, I don't, I might, I just might not be the audience for this, you know? But she is a very talented artist, for sure. Minus my pain. It has been fun. I will say. Okay, so we're at Walmart. My goal is two, uh, like, TV dinner trays type things. Why? What are they called? TV trays? Yeah. And then my mom's why? goal wait. is an adult coloring book. Wait, so. but wait, why do we need a why do we need a TV dinner tray? Children today. All right, so that's the one my mom chose. <laughs> and then I got these two little tables. Okay. It's because she's gonna stay the night, and we're gonna color. <laughs> Oh. Okay, guys, so I do want to do my Saturday weigh in here. Wait, that that's what you got them for? You don't have like a table? I guess that she's never shown like a dining room table or anything. <laughs> But, but you got them so you and your mom could color 
do you don't have any other option? I guess whatever. Whatever works. I guess it's the little things. Enjoy the little things, Amber Lynn, for sure. So here's that. Let's do this weigh in. Hello. It's ready. It's ready. 476.6. All right. 476.6. Do a little dance. Make a little love. Get down tonight. Ooh. Okay. I'll take it. Okay, so I was 476.6, which is pretty good, uh -huh. because last week I was 479 point something. So here I'm showing you kind of like all my weird starting weights and like how much I've lost in total, blah, blah, blah. I feel like every number is important because I feel like I've come a very long way in my opinion. But right now I do want to say that I'm almost down 40 pounds since the beginning of the year. And Wait. <laughs> Wait, 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 wait. <laughs> she said, I think all importance mat all importance matter. <laughs> all numbers are important. All all numbers matter. Uh but she is conveniently also not like adding in all the times that like all of this weight fluctuated back and forth and went up and down and up and down and round and round and whoever, whatever. Um <laughs> just like this is so funny to me. It's just like, how did you pick these numbers in, in particular? Also, yeah, I mean, okay, great. Yeah, all numbers matter. Let's go back all the way to 2019. I guess maybe for me, I'm just like, how do you keep track of all of these things? Because, like, I can't... I know people on the internet are keeping track of all of these things. But all of these random numbers she has floating around in her head or maybe in a journal somewhere... It's just crazy. It's just like, let, how about we focus here? Also, why didn't we put our highest weight that we had in 2022? If all numbers matter. Why didn't we put our highest weight in 2020? Because she has highest weight in 2019, highest weight in 2021, highest weight in 2023. And then she goes to her January 2024 start weight. It's just like, what, what, I, I feel like she's purposely just like, excluding some numbers here and there. Like, it just doesn't make any sense to me. But, oh, well. I'm not fixated on the numbers really that much outside of they just confuse me. And I feel like that's part of Amberlynn's charm, I guess. I don't know. I think that's why people keep watching. So. <laughs> why some people keep watching, I should say. Matt is, like, a really good number, if you ask me. And uh -huh. since starting some glutide, which I've been on it for four complete full weeks, I've lost 23.8 pounds. Okay. That's pretty awesome. It was only 2.6 this last week, but that's okay because the first week, week one, I lost quite a bit. Week of, of course, 2.6 is in a week is okay. <laughs> of course it is, bestie. Of course it is. You're the one that quit Ozempic in the first place because of the rapid weight loss of, of two to three pounds in a week, but I, I think it's fine. I think you're gonna be okay. Two, no. Week three, yes. And then week four, no. So I'm noticing like a pattern, so I'm hoping this coming week will be a lot better. Sure. So let's see. I think you're doing fine. Day, let's let's not stress about it, Bestie. Let's not stress about it. It seems like you're doing fine. You're you're trending in the right direction. Just keep doing what is working, which is taking the medicine. Like, you're doing fine. I do want to end my vlog as well. Amberlynn, can you play side? <laughs> I did not say that right. All right, let me redo that. Amberlynn, can you please say hi to your mom for me? I think she's adorable and hilarious, and I like her cackle. Mom she <laughs> she purposely picked that one because Mama Lynn's sitting right, right beside her. Mom? Oh my gosh! Hi, uh, hi. She says hello back. All, all of those things are true, though. I think her mom, her mom's laugh slays me. Her mom's like personality slays me. I think her mom seems a lot more. I don't know. There's something about Mama Lynn and juxtaposition to Amber Lynn that just feels authentic. <laughs> so yeah. This is from Angela. Hi, Angela. Hey, Angela. Hi, Angela. Cute. Thought she hated eggs, question mark. Hmm. If we don't stop fucking talking about the goddamn fucking eggs, people want to come on. I guess the reason that the egg thing at this point irritates me so much is because people want to come on here and act like an expert about her life and want to keep saying these this comment about her eggs and eggs and eggs and eggs. She has addressed the fucking eggs 
so many times at this point. You don't have to like her justification. You don't have to agree with her that she's she went from saying that she had an egg allergy to switching it up to an egg intolerance or whatever. But she's explained it so many times at this point that, that like, just accept her reasoning or don't, but we don't have to keep bringing up the damn eggs. The eggs are gonna make me lose my mind. Actually, it's not that serious. It's not that serious, it is it? It really is it. I don't hate eggs. I have an egg intolerance, which my mom is actually allergic to eggs. Uh huh. She, All right. Mom, explain your uh, yeah, egg explain situation, it. please. Uh, explain your egg situation. Explain why you're not straight. Explain all these things about your life because you're the most authentic part of my channel right now. Uh, every now and then, when I eat eggs, sometimes it happens, sometimes it don't. But my same. My throat starts to close up. My lips go numb. Mm -hmm. I'm itchy. I just feel like I need to vomit. So it's kind of scary. Yeah, yeah like so. hers is way worse than mine. Mine is like, I feel like I have the flu for like two hours, but then it passes. But hers is more... I'm totally myself sick. Yeah, hers is more like allergies, it sounds like. Mine well. is more <laughs> an egg intolerance. And also my aunt has the same issue. So I don't know if it's like a family how, thing. How do you know what an allergy sounds like? Please move on. Let's move up past the eggs. I had an egg sandwich for lunch. It was it was great. I, I'm only allowed certain numbers of eggs a week, though, <laughs> before anybody from the Twitch community has something to say about me eating an egg sandwich today. But, yeah. All right, last question. You mentioned vlogs ago about your favorite reaction channel, but wouldn't say who it was. Can you give a hint? Pretty, pretty, please. So, my hint is that my mom keeps making me laugh, and I'm having to edit all out. <laughs> But the hint is that, hmm, they are a woman, so it's not a guy, it is a girl. Anyways, so that's the end of this vlog. I hope that you guys did enjoy it because I know I did, and I'll see you in the next one. Bye. <laughs> I'm so, um, I'm so tired of her. <laughs> I, I really appreciate that she's a fan of reaction channels. I think it's great that she's supporting the community. <laughs> I, I do. I'm just like, she she loves to talk about them positively until they talk about her in a way that she doesn't like and then she gets mad. And I can just say that from a personal experience and also from witnessing her do it to plenty of others. <laughs> plenty of other people that she does it to. So it's just like... Just wait until that reaction channel is no longer her fave because they said something that stepped out of line for her or whatever it might be. <laughs> it's fine. It's cool. It's chill. Anyways, y'all, besties, that's all I have today. Um, I had so much fun. I enjoyed this video today. Seeing her mom happy with the bubbles was a, a true joy of mine. Um, I hope you all also found joy in that because I think that that was just like, I don't know, it seemed very innocent and fun and sometimes we don't get moments like that <laughs> on Amber Lynn's channel. So I, I'm grateful for it. I'll take it and I'm just going to sign off now. Thank you so much for watching everybody. If you're brand new to my channel, consider subscribing down below. Hit the bell button so you get a notification every single time I post a new video. Make sure to leave me a comment, hit like, click share and follow me on all my social media. I love you all so much, and I'll see y'all next time. Bye!